Hi everyone, happy Monday. So glad you can join me. I'm Denise with Artist of Her Paint Party in Cleveland, Ohio. Welcome, I hope you had a wonderful, beautiful Easter Sunday, a Passover that's still being celebrated and just a beautiful weekend. It's a little rainy here in Cleveland, a little cold. It's supposed to get really windy today. So I hope the weather's a little bit better where you are and we're gonna have fun today. I wanted to first show you a couple different versions of this painting. I'm using canvas at 16 by 20. You can use any supplies that you have, color pencil, crayon, marker, watercolor pa paint, acrylic. I use acrylic paint on 16 by 20 canvas. This is a vertical or portrait style, and this one is landscape or horizontal. Really, it's up to you which way you want to do your orientation. I just want you to notice the difference. With it being vertical, you have more room for more color of the mountains. And that's what I think really makes this painting so pretty are the pretty colors of the mountains. So again, you have more room to do more color. So if you look on this one versus this one, I have more of like the pinks in there before it gets into the purple. And on this one, it's a little bit thinner. So it depends on if you want the width and the length, or if you want to make it, you know, more vertical and taller. So that, again, is totally up to you. So I'm going to start by practicing a little bit today. Warm up your hands. Okay. All right, I'm going to use a black marker. This is just computer paper, just to practice some of our drawings. I'll do a couple practices and then we'll just jump right in today. So let's do some cactus, okay? I'll come over here. I'm gonna start with a vertical line up. I'm gonna do the arm of the cactus. Welcome to everyone watching on Facebook and YouTube. Everything's recorded. If you're watching it recorded, fantastic. Remember, I love to see your artwork. You guys can send me pictures. You can email me at artistatheart.org or you can go onto my full website. You can message me. You can check in on Facebook. You can tag me. Did anybody eat jelly beans yesterday? I had the biggest taste for jelly beans. I didn't have any. Okay, so there's just a couple examples. If you want to make it prickly, you can put little tiny lines coming out your cactus. Again, totally up to you. It depends on the look you want to have. If you want it to be prickly, you can just put some little prickly lines. I'll make them a little bigger so you can see from far away. All right. Over here, I'm going to do a couple of birds, maybe eagles. You don't have to keep up with me. Just take your time. I'll put one more little cactus down here. And just like when we were doing our bunny, you know, when we did bunnies last time, if you joined us, I said, oh, I think it's nice when you personalize your artwork and do something to make it your own, whether it's using more of your favorite colors or, you know, you can have a cactus for each member of your family if you want, or same thing with the birds in the sky or the mountains. So again, it could be representative of you, your likes, your family. That's why if you don't like purple, don't use the purple. If you love yellow, use more yellow. You can customize it. That means change it any way you want to. Okay, so that's our warm up for today. Now I'm going to sketch it out on my canvas. I'm gonna do it, now normally I wouldn't do it in black because this is like a very light painting, light colors. Oh, Alexa, play Ain't No Mountain High Enough. 
This is a nice upbeat song to start our Monday. There's lots of different versions of this song. So if you, Joe, can you put that banner up so they know what song, there you go, thank you. Uh, there's lots of different versions. So I didn't put the artist up there and it just depends on the sound system you're listening to. So I'm gonna first start with, and let's do the mountains since it goes with the song. Ain't no mountain high enough. Ain't no, all right, you don't want me to sing, but it's a good song. So I would play it if you can. So let's just start. And your mountains don't have to be exactly like mine. Gonna do another set of mountains over here. Again, you could be sketching yours out in pencil, color pencil, crayon. So I'm gonna skip over here because I'm gonna put a cactus in here. So I'm gonna skip where the cactus is gonna go. So I'm gonna do. Because again, I'm using black marker so I can't erase it. I'm using Sharpie marker. Vertical line. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna do four cactus. You can have as many as you want to. They can be big or small. I'm gonna make these a little bit bigger. So I'm gonna make this, this will be the one that's the closest to us, which means it would be the largest one on here. This one's gonna be back a little bit. Okay, there you go. Oh, I forgot. How's that song? Is it still playing? That's a kind of a long song, so you should still be dancing. Music really makes me feel good, depending on the song. Get you in the mood, move a little bit, paint a little bit, dance a little bit, sing a little bit. All right, let's do this. Joe's running behind the scenes today. He's going to be messaging with you guys and he's going to be putting up the banners. His mother Darcy's over there helping him. Rachel's doing some schoolwork. So uh, anyway, Joe's got the control today. All right. So let's see. We can do, let's start with the sky. And again, your sky can be different. You could add a sun, you could add whatever else you wanna to add to it. So I'm gonna put a little bit of yellow on my brush. I'm gonna use a flat paintbrush. You can use any kind of paintbrush you have. Again, you can use crayons. I'm gonna start with a little bit of yellow and some white. And again, I'm gonna overlap it a little bit. I mean, I'm gonna, I, if I don't stay in the lines, it's okay. So this part's gonna be yellow. And this one is softer. It looks more pastel because I added more white to it. So I'll put a little bit more white on there. I just want to make sure you can see it. If you haven't subscribed to YouTube, it's Artist at Heart Paint Party on YouTube, and you can see all of the videos. The only ones that are missing are the very first two when we started on Monday the 16th, and that's March, March 16th and March 17th, because I had just subscribed to YouTube, so they didn't approve it until Wednesday the 18th. So the very first two paintings that we did, you can only find on Artist at Heart Paint Party on Facebook. 
and then all the rest are on both, including YouTube. So if you're on YouTube and you have access to Facebook and you want to see the first two, you have to go to the Facebook page. So right about there, I'll go into my blue sky. So you can do it blue, you can do it purple. If you end up mixing the blue with the yellow, you're going to end up with what color? I heard you say it. Blue and yellow make green, and I don't want a green sky. So I'm going to start up at the top. I'm just going to give my yellow a minute to get dry. It's going to dry pretty quick, I think, I'm hoping. Horizontal brush strokes. You can make it as purple, as light, as blue as you want to. I'm going to put a little bit more white on my brush. So remember, you want to have contrast when you do your bird, so it really shows up. So I'm going to make my background lighter so that when I paint the silhouette in of my eagle or whatever bird it is you're doing, you want it to show up so it has contrast. Horizontal brush strokes. I like to see the streaks of the paint. I'm gonna put a little bit more blue over here on this side. Okay, and now I'm going to go into my first mountain. And again, I'm going to follow the sample. So I'm going to do my orange, but you can use any colors that you want to. So I'm going to do some orange. Oh, I went on the wrong. That's okay. See, I made a mistake. I'm just going to scoop up my paint and put it over here. And you know what? That one, I could just blend it in. So don't worry about your mistakes. No one knows your mistakes but you and me. I make mistakes all the time. I keep going, keep going, keep going. So I want to make it fade as I get, or lighten as I get to the bottom of the mountain. And in order to do that, I would add some white. Now, in order to cover a mistake, all I have to do is wait for it to dry. So if I wait for it to dry, I can easily cover it. So I'm going to scoop up a little bit of white to soften up the bottom of my mountain where it overlaps. Who lives by the mountains? I don't have any mountains by me, but I do think mountains are spectacular. I love acrylic paint too. I love smelly markers. I love construction paper crayons. Those are crayons that are made to color on construction paper. They're really beautiful. So again, it's just orange and white. I don't like that harsh black line. I want to cover it. And because my paint is so wet, it won't cover it completely, which means I have to let it dry and then I can give it another coat. How are you guys coming along? We were just picking out songs before you got on. How about, oh, that's another one. We'll, we'll give it a minute. 
I want to get to that point. Can you think of any songs that are about mountains or flying or the desert? Hmm. Alexa, play Desert Rose by Sting. That's a good one too. So this color, again, could be like a red orange or a red. I'm gonna do my more of a red orange. And if you don't have a red orange, you just mix some orange and some red together. So it's just a little bit deeper. And I didn't even wash off my brush. I just scooped it up and added it onto it. Because I think I get really cool colors when I do that. But some people like to wash it off and dry it off and start again, which is fine. And again, you don't have to keep up with me. Take your time. You have all the time to work on this. You guys, you know what? This is our fifth week. This is the, spot, the start of our fifth week. It's amazing. I'm gonna go around that cactus. And remember, I'm going to lighten it up. You know what today is? Today is called Dingus Day. Dingus Day. And Dingus Day is a celebration that takes place the day after Easter. And in Cleveland, we usually have, it's a Polish celebration, and I'm actually half Polish. My dad was Polish, and my last name, Lipka, is Polish. And so Dingus Day is a Polish celebration the day after Easter, and there's a huge parade down in downtown Cleveland. It's not, it's canceled, but they're doing it online, and there's like a lot of polka bands, and there's a Miss Dingus in the parade, and it's a really fun celebration, and they serve kibasi and sauerkraut and dumplings and again it's canceled this year but it's a really fun celebration all right there's and then this one you again you could do so this one to me is orange yellow, like a macaroni and cheese, orange yellow, red orange or orange red, and you could be blending those with crayons. And then this one would be more of a magenta and red, pink and red, but you're gonna use any colors that you really like. And if this one doesn't look light enough, as I'm looking at it on the camera, on my canvas it looks light enough, but I'm gonna lighten it up just so it looks a little bit lighter for you guys, because I think it, looks better when it lightens before the next color. And then I'll go into my next mountain. Now, could you paint your cactus green? Of course. Could you paint it brown? Of course. I'm going to do mine black. One, it shows up better on the camera. And two, if I did it green, I would, it might look a little bit cartoony. I suppose if I did it like a dark green, it wouldn't look as cartoony. How's yours coming? Is it coming along? Are you having fun? 
It's more about the process than the product. It's more about enjoying yourself, relaxing. That's what the process is, the process of painting or creating art. It always makes me feel better. When I was teaching, I would always tell, you know, if someone was in a bad mood, I would just say, take a black crayon and just, just scribble, just scribble as hard as you can with that black crayon. It's actually, makes you feel better, believe it or not. And then it, you take that scribbling, you turn it into something, whatever it is, but it's a way of releasing, releasing whatever you're feeling. I know Eileen started a watch party the other day. Thank you. It's fun to do a watch party. I, I, I'm having trouble doing it while I'm starting to go live. I tried it the other day and it didn't go so well. So, But it's fun to watch stuff with your friends on Facebook. I don't think you can do it on YouTube. How's it coming? So And then the bottom, again, you could have it be purple, it could be brown, it could be whatever color you want. So I'm gonna go into my purple. Remember, the more white you add, the more lavender it's gonna be. So I'm gonna leave a little tiny gap at the bottom, which is gonna be for the black silhouette for the ground. So I'm not going to go all the way down to the bottom, but you can if you want to. So let's see, this is our fifth week. There's five days in a week, so the, and we did two Saturdays. So we had, this is our 23rd episode. If I'm doing my math right, five times four weeks is 20, plus two Saturdays is 22, and then today is 23, wow. And if you're just joining us, you can go back and do them. I, I, I believe there's a lot of you that have done all 23.
And again, if you want to add white into it, go ahead. If you're using pure purple, make sure it's lighter and not real dark because so yesterday when I did this, my purple was pretty dark. And then when I did my cactus on top, it blended into it. It did not have contrast. So I had to do it again so that you could see the cactus. So purple is a pretty dark color. That's why I'm saying if you are going to do your cactus black, make sure you add some white to your purple background. It'll make it stand out more. I have a lamp on because it's so dark here today in Cleveland and it's giving a glare. So I just want to make sure you can see that. Now, could you create your painting with whoever you're with so that they go together? Absolutely. If there's five of you guys painting you could or drawing, you can make five different drawings fit together. Or you can do all of them yourself and create, you know, an artwork that has different panels. So this is a, a, one of those cool artworks that can fit together or separate. Totally up to you. So again, adding that white into it gives it a little bit of dimension where when I just paint it flat, like that purple to me looks pretty flat, so does the red, it's not as dimensional as the ones that have, you know, the value. I still have purple on my brush, so I'm just going to go back into the sky and add a little bit of purple. I feel like that blue is too solid. Could you put some pink in the sky? Sure. All right, the wind's kicking up. Can you guys hear that? I just start, just start. Wow, it just started raining. I'm just gonna soften the red up a little bit. Again, because I feel like it's looking a little bit too cartoony because it's flat. So again, something flat, one color makes it look more of a cartoon, which is fine. You can have it look like a cartoon. Black outline also makes something look very uh, flat or cartoony. Maybe I'll move my easel a little bit. How's that? Better? All right, now let's go into our black. So use a small, the smallest brush you have for the smaller thing. So I was using a larger brush for the larger areas, smaller brush for the smaller area. I'm going to do mine like a silhouette. You could do yours in gray. You can do it in black. You can do it in white. You can do it in real color. You can make your bird uh, whatever color you want. You can make your cactus whatever color you want. Alexa, play Fly Like an Eagle by the Steve Miller Band. Joe, you have a banner for that one? It's okay. Joe's tired today.
I want to fly like an eagle to the sea, fly like an eagle. And again, I'm going to do my cactus black, but you can do it any color that you want to. You could add those little prickly black things. You could put a little flower on the top of your cactus. You could put a scorpion in the sand. No cactus in Cleveland. I think it would be cool to have a cactus. I would love a cactus and a palm tree in my yard. No scorpions. Not fond of palmetto bugs either. Those are some big bugs. Again, you guys do not have to keep up with me. Do your own thing. If you want to come on the screen today to show us how far you are, that would be great. Just turn your volume down. Not mute. Don't mute it because then we can't hear you. It's on a slight delay. So if you have the volume up really loud or if you have your cell phone by you and the volume's on. I know that's what I did. I had I went live and I had my volume on and it was echoing in the background. And that's what you don't want because it makes it really hard to hear yourself on the screen. So in order to prevent that, you have to turn your volume down, but not mute it. And you can tell us where you're from. You could share your artwork with us. You could show us where you're at today or something that you did over the weekend or your whole art wall, which is super cool that you guys have created these art walls. Thank you for sharing your pictures. I love your photos that you're sending me. Makes my day.
Again, you could add the little prickers to these. You can add a cute little bloom at the top of your cactus. Uh, you could add more color to your sky. You could add more birds. This arm over here looks a little small. It's much easier to make it too small and make it bigger than if it's too big. Better? All right. So Joe, when you get ready, you can uh, go ahead and give them the link to pop on. Again, tell us your name, where you're from, show us your artwork. I'm gonna break up this blob of pink right there. All you guys have to do, Joe, so there's a green room and that's the waiting room. Joe will put up the link that says StreamYard and then uh, you guys click on the link. It'll bring you into the green room, but not directly onto the screen. While you're waiting to come on the screen, uh, Joe will bring you on and off, on and off, on and off. And then you just have to watch the screen to see when you come on. So you won't come on right away. You'll just be in the green room waiting. Hello. Um, so my art piece today didn't go as planned, but I just rolled with it. So I accidentally did the sky a different color. So then I chose to make it a tornado scene. <laughs> yeah. And as you can see from like this one, this was one of and like this one. That's not my style, but I just rolled with it. But <laughs> I love it. You so, roll with it, go with the flow. Yeah. So happy belated Easter. I hope you had an awesome time. Thank you. Thanks for sharing. Hi. Hi. Um, this is mine. Very nice. Um, and I've been like adding, like I told you um last time. Like I've been adding my pictures to like my little binder thing. And yeah, thank you so much. Hope thank you. Nice. Thanks. Hi. Hi. This is mine. Love it. This is mine. Ah. This is mine. I don't. Hi, this is mine. Fabulous. That's me. Thanks, Thanks for doing this. Let's give me mommy. Hi. Hi. Um, my name is Laura Frank and I am from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Happy belated Easter. Um, this is how my art piece is going. It's almost finished. Very nice. Um, thank you for doing this. You're welcome. Bye. Bye. Hi. I like it. Looks good. And this is one of my favorite cheap ones. Oh, nice. Thanks. Hi. 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 My name is Tyler. And I'm Claire. We're from Toledo, Ohio. Here's mine. That looks great. Here's mine. Thank Very you. nice. Happy to late Easter. Happy late Easter. Thank you. Hi. 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 My name is Tyler. And I'm Claire. We're Ohio. Very nice. Aw. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. Hi. This is mine, and my cat that came in last week. <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you. Hi, my name is Brianna. I'm from St. Benedict, PA, and this is mine so far. Wow, that looks beautiful. Thank you for doing this. You're welcome. Hello. Hi. This is what I'm on so far. This is what I'm on so far. 
and um, I try and put a couple of different colors in the mountains. That looks really color great. Art, and thank you so much for doing this. You're welcome. Thank you. Hi. Hi. My name is Audrey Blakeman, and I'm from Poland, Ohio, and this is my art for today. Nice. And this is one of my favorite arts that I've done. Oh, that looks great. Thank you. You're Thank welcome. you for doing this. I enjoy doing it a lot. I'm glad. Thanks for doing it with us. Bye. It's you. Hi. Hi. Yesterday when we did the eggs, we used some of your ideas to paint them. Ooh, that looks cool. That's Thank awesome. You. Oh, she didn't show her painting from today. Hi. Miss Parker. Hi. Hi. I don't think the most is on. That's okay, Joe. Go to the next one. Hi. Hi, Danny. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. This is my art work that finished. Fabulous. Thank you, Denise. You do a very great job. I want you every day thank you so so much thank you danny Bye. Hi. Hi. hi thank you thank you you're welcome thanks for doing it hi, hi. Um, i just wanted to show you my pictures i've been working on so i'm oh. a nature fairy I made a little penguin, and I made a fairy godmother. Oh, that's so nice. Mm, that that gives me ideas to do fairies and mm -hmm. some of artworks. Thank you. Thank you for doing this. You're welcome. Hello. Hi. Hi, girls. This is mine. That looks great. And this is mine. And this is my lizard, so he can crawl in the vast deserts. What is it? He's my leopard gecko. Oh my. <laughs> it's got a cool pattern, but it looks kind of creepy. <laughs> Thank you. Um, hi. Hi. I made two. This is my this is my first one. And then this is my second one. Very nice. They look really Thank good. You. Thank you. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Okay, Joe. Hi. Hi. I forgot to show one thing my mom's um last week. Oh, that's so cute. I love those tails. That looks really Thank cute. You. Thank, you. Thank you. All right, let's see if she can do it. Hi. Dana Parker. Hello. Hi. Hi. Do you want to show us your artwork? This is my picture. Can you see it? Mm hmm I did one for every person in my family. I love it. 
Thank you. Thank you. So she did one for every person in her family. So maybe the cactus for your dad is the tallest one. If your dad is the tallest one in the family or maybe your sisters. So believe it or not, I am the tallest one in my family. Even though I'm the middle, Darcy is shorter than me and Deanna is shorter than me. And uh, I'm the tallest. So I definitely get that from my dad. My mom is not tall at all. My mom's a little shrimp. So uh, again, if you want to make your cactus all the same size, that's fine. But if you're doing like representative of your family, maybe you make them different heights. Add whatever you want. Again, you could add these little prickly lines sticking out of your cactus as if it's prickly, which we know cactus are. And uh, you could do little, sh you know, shrubs at the bottom. You can add lizards or whatever that spotted reptile was. Uh, you could add more birds. You could add some clouds to the sky. Anything else that you want to add, if you were trying to get into the green room and you weren't able to, go ahead and click the StreamYard link now. Come on in, and then we will uh, wrap it up for today. Tomorrow, we're going to do Kandinsky circles. I want to start getting into some geometric shapes because I want to start doing portraits. And also, I'm going to get into some sports this week. We'll do whether it's tennis or soccer or basketball or football, we're going to incorporate all of them together and you're just going to pick the sport that you want. If you're not into sports, maybe you like ballet or dance. And again, you guys, I want you to personalize it for your own artwork or maybe you make it for someone that you know loves that sport. Totally up to you guys. So uh, anyway, thank you so much for watching today. I greatly appreciate you sharing this with your family and friends. Pay it forward. Be kind. Share your artwork with someone. Hang it on the wall. Create an art gallery. Write a story about it. I wonder where the desert is. I wonder if I live close to the desert. I wonder what kind of creatures live in the desert. All those things, you can write them down, wonder them, try to find the answer out. How, how far is the closest desert to where you live. I mean, just all those things. Those are all the things that I wonder. And I look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow for Tuesday. And again, uh, enjoy the day, be safe, stay home, chill, go with the flow. And I will see you guys again tomorrow. Thank you.